Hey guys, how's it going? Legend Fuzzy. And, oh man, Crisis 3, huh? I haven't played this game in a long time. And just seeing the gameplay, it really, it really just makes me want to play the game. But my Xbox is far, far away because I am in the United Kingdom and not Australia. So I can't play Crisis 3 for about another month. So, <laughs> oh well, that sucks. Anyway, guys, so, as you guys know, I'm still on holiday and in the UK. So <laughs> And I'm sure most of my subscribers are from the UK, and um, yeah, guys, the weather is going pretty fine, isn't it? It's really good right now. I actually feel like I'm in Australia right now because the weather is so nice and warm and sunny and everything. I don't know where you guys live in England, but just for me, it's so bright and oh god, it's it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah. So today I actually went to see X Men: uh, Days of Future Past. And believe it or not, it was actually pretty good. Um, I'm not a big X-Men fan. I have watched the first one, the third one, and the most, uh, oh, and the second most recent one. I, th I can't remember what it's called, but it has like James McAvoy and um, Michael Fassbender in it. And um, but yeah, there's this, this new one. It's actually a pretty good story, and um, I like the Sentinels and everything. And, and I know that they're in the um, what's it called? Uh, they're, they're in the comics and everything. Uh, I didn't read the comics, so I wouldn't really understand the story. But I mean, I do sort of understand the movie, uh, the story from the movie's point of view. Um, but man, yeah, it was actually really, really good. I really did enjoy the story. Um, the characters were really good, and oh man, it was yeah, it was, it was, it was really, it was a really good watch. I really do recommend you guys watch it. Um, yeah, you 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 won't, you won't regret it. You really, really won't. And um, so, man, oh. We've been um, bombarded with E3 news. Uh, lots of us happened. Obviously, yeah, E3's gone now, sadly. Uh, <laughs> we've got a lot of news and a lot of new things being announced, uh, like the just amazing Master Chief Collection. Uh, you've got Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. you got the new Assassin's Creed, which I'm not really on about. I don't really care about Assassin's Creed. Uh, I have played the games, but I don't really play them that much. Uh, we've also got the new Star Wars Battlefront, which it, it wasn't really like full on. Uh, we, we didn't see much, but we, we didn't see a little bit of gameplay. And what else was it? Destiny. Destiny's coming out soon. The beta came out for PS4 and the PC, and I, I believe it, I believe it's still on right now. I'm not quite sure. We'll see. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a PS4 or a PC. Uh, well, I do a PC and my laptop, but I don't think it would, I don't think it would work. <laughs> Because is uh, this Destiny looks like looks really really big, and I don't think my gra my, my, my graphics card or my just my well, computer will handle it. And I don't I don't have a PS4 either, so well that that sucks. Um, and also, what else was on? Um, oh yeah, Battlefield ha uh, Hardline. <laughs> just remember that. Yeah, Battlefield Hardline. Uh, I'm not too pumped about that game. Uh, I didn't like I, I I like Cops and Robbers games, but I don't really like the idea of this game. I may or may not get it. It, it, it feels like a Battlefield 4 expansion, to be honest. Uh, I don't really feel like I may get it, but <laughs> I'm just super, super pumped for the Wild Sea Collection. And if you guys don't know already, um, well, as you guys may know, <laughs> uh, the Ascension map was revealed um, to be, to be one, of the, one of the six remastered maps. And we've also, um, well, it's been officially announced that also Zanzibar and Lockout will be remastered as well. And if you guys know Zanzibar, it is the, um, well basically in Halo 3 it's Lockout, it's, it's, it's a remake of Zanzibar, Rocket Lockout is at least. <laughs> and, oh guys, Zanzibar is the coolest map in, in Halo 2, and, I, and actually I, I hope they bring, they bring back Terminal as well, and Headlong, and maybe Schmidtship, I don't know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see, they'll announce it sooner or later. Um, well, and, oh god, yeah, guys, uh, I, I can't tell you how excited I am for the Master Collection, it is going to be absolutely amazing, and I, I, I'm actually looking forward to playing Halo 3 on the Master Collection, believe it or not, it, Halo 3 is my most favourite game of all time, and I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing it on next gen, because um, it's going to have a minor, uh, well, a, 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 well, quite a substantial um, remaster, because uh, both Halo 3 and Halo 4 weren't in full 1080p HD, or near, near the 60 frames, and now they will be. So, uh, man, I, I, I cannot wait to see Halo 3 in 60 frames in full to, full 1080p. It's going to be absolutely crazy. And yeah, you, you guys, I, I say this all the time, but you, you're definitely going to see gameplay. I'm, I'm going to pre-order it as soon as I get back to Australia, and uh, I'm probably going to get one of the 
uh, the pre-order DLCs. I think I might get uh, the bandana one. I think it's where you get infinite ammo. And if, if you guys don't know, the you get pre-order bonuses from from different re from. Uh, sorry, I can't speak. You get uh, pre-order bonuses from different re from different re re <sighs> I can't speak. This is ridiculous. Um, basically, you get um, skull bonuses uh, from different retailers. So. Um, I think there's Bandana, which is where you get full infinite ammo, and there's also the Runt one, where, or, or, or that one where you punch um, enemies and they explode. So, yeah, you guys can choose and see which one you guys prefer. I'm not quite sure what I prefer, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, like I said, maybe infinite ammo. Infinite ammo sounds really nice. <laughs> um, also, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, that looks, like it, believe it or not, well, believe me or not, it actually looks really, really good. The campaign looks superb, the graphics are incredible, 60 frames looks really nice on it, and obviously we haven't heard anything about multiplayer, but I don't really care, I care about multiplayer too much. I really care about the Call of Duty campaigns. Call of Duty campaigns are absolutely incredible. None of them have really, have really disappointed me, other than Call of Duty Ghost. I mean, the, campaign, the campaign was all right. It really had no, re, it really had no, no replayability. But uh, Call of Duty Divided Warfare campaign looks really, really awesome, and the, hopefully the characters are really immersive and everything. And, the, and as well as the story. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary, and I'll see you guys later. Have a day one day.